And we have a surprise for you. I got another dog. Come here, please. I got another dog. Okay, I didn't actually get another dog, but this is Blaze. And perfect for the theme that we have for our video today because he's gonna be able to help me out a little bit. Earlier today, I went to the dollar store and I bought a whole bunch of do-it-yourself stuff. So these are just a few cheap little DIY projects that I found and we're gonna give them a try. So I have my two little sidekicks today that are gonna be helping me out, testing out our new projects. Blaze is like, please let me in the vlog and Humphrey's like, no, I don't really wanna be in it anymore. I'm over this already. Humphrey, I'm gonna have to replace you. Blaze just likes me more. All right, there's my boy. So I'm gonna use Humphrey for our first trick today because Humphrey loves to eat his food. And one thing that I struggle with is him eating too fast. I timed him this morning and it took him 18 seconds to eat his breakfast, which is really fast. He just, I don't even think he tastes it, he just eats. So I found this trick that if you put a tennis ball on top of the dog food, um, it slows them down so they don't eat as fast. So Humphrey's gonna be getting his dinner. So I have the food in here. Tennis ball. So this is what we have. We have a hungry Humphrey. Good boy, Humphrey. Oh man, we were doing so good. So that definitely took Humphrey longer than I expected. It took him about two minutes to finish that entire bowl. So I think I would give this hack a thumbs up. It definitely made Humphrey eat slower and it was really easy, so I would definitely try this at home. Oh wait, I just did. <laughs> so since Humphrey already had his dinner, I'm gonna switch dogs really quick. So the second hack that I found to make dogs eat slower was to use a muffin tin. So you just put the individual pieces of food in the muffin hold. So I'm gonna give Blaze his dinner this way since Humphrey already ate all of his. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't take Blaze as long to eat as it did for Humphrey to eat with the tennis balls, but Blaze's food was also a lot bigger and he could get the pieces easily. So I think with food that's smaller, I like this one better. But with the big pieces of food, I would probably use the tennis ball hack. Lesson learned, I should have done the tennis ball hack for Blaze and the muffin tin one for Humphrey, but I can't go back now. I'll wait till breakfast. All right, so for a third hack, I'm going to be using both Blaze and Humphrey to see how they both like this. I already know that Humphrey's gonna like it. So, he's already excited. So today, I found a DIY project that you can use a pair of socks. Ooh, socks! And all you do, I'm not gonna make this fancy at all, you just take the sock, put the water bottle inside the sock, the water bottle is the whole way down in the... I only have one. You're gonna have to share. So, boys. They're both so excited. Oh, Blaze, you want some too? Is it fun, Humphrey? Get it! Well, I already knew how this hack was gonna go. I definitely give it a thumbs up. Unless your dog is scared of water bottles and this crinkly noise. Um, which I know some dogs are, so if your dog is, then this is definitely not going to work for them. Oh, like I said, I bought everything that I'm using today at the dollar store. Not everything was a dollar, but it was still cheaper than going to like Walmart or Target, which you guys know I love. So this isn't actually a hack. This is just something that I found that I've been dying to try. Oh, yes! I found one of these. They're supposed to be for cats, but they're one of those uh, laser pointer things that you can use to play with. Whoa! Just because I love doing things with Humphrey's butt. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give this a quick try. Please. I turned it off and he's still looking for it. He thinks it's under the cover. <laughs> okay, not really a hack. 
back, but I definitely give this little thingamajig a 10 out of 10. Thumbs up. It's really funny, as you can tell. I'm gonna play with Humphrey all the time, and I don't even have to move. It's perfect. On to the next hack. He's still looking for that light. He still thinks it's in there. Oh my gosh, best dollar I ever spent. But anyway, for those of you who have dogs that are not selfie worthy, I am going to show you a way that you can get your dog to look at the camera. So all you have to do is get a tennis ball. Here you want, you can have it. You can go play with it. Bye, I have another one. You just cut a line straight down the middle of the tennis ball so that it opens and there's a little gap. Uh, squeeze the tennis ball and the gap opens and you put it on the corner of your phone and then you just hold up your phone and the dog looks right at the tennis ball. It's just perfect. The other thing that you can do is cut a line right down the middle and stuff the inside with treats. That it keeps them occupied for hours. I did try that with Humphrey and he still hasn't gotten the treats out. I also just think it's really fun. Same with the muffin tin hack. Really important to keep them mentally stunned. The mentally stim, mentally stim, mentally stim, <laughs> mentally stimulated with these games so that we keep their brain active and that helps them live longer. So we might as well just open them and give the dogs each a treat, right? Who wants a pepperoni? Oh, there you go. This one's for you. So that concludes all of the hacks for today's video. A special thank you to Blazy Boy, just kidding, Blazy Boy, <laughs> for being in our vlog today. And thank you to Emily Muggs and Peyton for letting me stay with him for the week. I hope you guys are having fun in Ocean City. Next week, I will be at the beach in Ocean City with my family, so Humphrey will be staying home. I already have a guest star planned for my next vlog, so tune in next week to see who my special guest is. I'm very excited for you guys. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, just like all of our hacks that we did today. Try them at home, let me know how they are. Oh, Humphrey! He destroyed, this is why we don't buy tennis balls at the dollar store, because they get destroyed. It's done. Okay, you can have it back. Thanks again guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, link below, social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. We will see you next week. Except for you, Blaze, we won't see you next week. So come say bye. Okay, say bye, Blaze. Bye. Okay, bye.